Ah, God damn it! Would someone please give me strength? Did somebody ask for strength? Because that happens to be my specialty. Ah! Theo, what are you doing here? Hey, I just thought I'd drop over and say hello. Okay. Since you're here, why don't I interview you today? An interview? Well, that sounds fascinating. Why not? Okay. Hi, guys. It's me, Leon123900, and I'm here with the Teal Universe. Hey, everybody. This is the Teal Universe. All right. So... The interview goes like this. I'm going to ask you a series of questions related to what you stream. And he's a streamer. You guys know him already. You've seen him in Resident Evil 4. So let's get this thing started. Sounds awesome. Okay. So what got you started on Twitch? What got me Oh, man. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's take it back to the beginning when I had no idea what Twitch, what Twitch was at all. Um, and I heard about Twitch initially through uh, the, the the Twitch Plays Pokemon. Do you remember that? When Twitch yes, was doing that? Twitch Plays Pokemon. Yeah. What? <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> that could be too, too adult for this. Uh, no, Twitch Plays Pokemon, and that was awesome. And I just I enjoyed the idea of everyone communally playing Pokemon, so I thought that was cool. But I didn't really do anything else with Twitch after that. I just kind of left it be. Um, and I thought one day, just kind of randomly, like... I should figure out what that actually is. You know, I, I was hearing about it on different uh, blogs or different things like that. So I went over to check it out, and uh, of course I searched just my favorite video game. So I was like, I'm going to watch someone play Kingdom Hearts. Um, so I searched Kingdom Hearts, and lo and behold, Kung Fu Fruit Cup came up. And uh, I clicked on hers, and I've been addicted ever since. That's actually uh, how I found you, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I was searching randomly on Twitch for players for Kingdom Hearts, and I see the Teal uh -huh. Universe, I'm like... Man, he looks pretty good. He seems friendly. He seems friendly. And I'm like, yeah. then we had three people in the room, in the actual room, and yeah. he's going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. The, the very first time we met, how many people are in your that room? Yeah, because you were like, hey, I'm here. And then another guy was like, hey, I'm here too, and we're in the same room. And I was like, what? There are multiple people there? And then the third person came in. Yeah, I was like, this is a, this is a party over there. That's awesome. Okay. So, what's your favorite Kingdom Hearts? Everyone needs to know. What's your favorite oh, one? Yeah, of course. Uh, this is an easy question for me. My first, uh, my favorite Kingdom Hearts is the first one. Easy. It starts off the storyline. It's uh, adorable. It just gets everything started. So the storyline, <laughs> the whole aspect of everything, definitely the first one. But I'd have to say for gameplay, that Birth by Sleep is definitely my favorite. It's the most fluid. Um, I think the Osaka team did a great job with it. It's just, it's the easiest to really get a handle on and develop quickly. I, so. Yeah. See, my favorite's two because it's easier yeah. if you realize it. Two is a lot yeah. easier than all the other ones. Right, and I think they made so many awesome improvements, and I love mm -hmm. two. Don't get me like wrong. Like the drive two sequence, was... I love that. Yes. Yeah. Yep, whoever thought of that needs a pay raise. <laughs> I think he did get a pay raise. I hope so. Um. Okay. If you were in Kingdom Hearts, what world would you want to be in? Oh, man, that's a good one. Um, I'm really fascinated by the whole idea of Castle Oblivion. Um, oh. I've always liked Namine and her character. Um, and I like the idea of messing with people. Well, not necessarily messing, but like rearranging people's memories or wiping them or changing them. It's a fascinating idea with me. So I think that I would be a character in Castle Oblivion. Okay, because my personal favorite two levels are Port Royale and... Oh, yeah. And Pride Lands. I love the Pride Lands. Oh, man. I would give anything to be a lion down there. So, yeah. I would lions. rather be a lion over than a pirate, because I do like pirates. Pirates are cool. I'll just, oh, definitely. It's just... And such good music in that world. <laughs> I know. It's based off the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, by the way, I did create a hashtag with this. It's called Hashtag Tea Time with Teal. <laughs> so, you guys, do it. Watch that's, uh, that's one of the things about my stream is that I I drink tea I drink yeah I drink tea every single stream um and it's it's just a thing so this one you did it I think did you I did I did yeah I had it oh. uh, it was only like right in the middle I drank it really fast this time yeah all right so now this is other curiosity questions like okay the other category yeah the other category if you had a different video game. What would you like to play for a stream oh, one day? Um, are you talking about like games I've never played before or games that I have played before? That games like that you have played, like horror genre, like what I play. Oh, man, in the horror realm. 
Uh, okay, well, this is an easy answer. And I actually did just play a little bit of it during the Halloween season. Okay. Um, the, the Dead Space series oh. is my favorite horror series ever. I do like yeah. Dead Space. It's, it's just, I like, especially the first one, like, is this really real? Or is he just imagining? Is he going crazy? I mean, there's so many aspects to it that I just love. Well, and Dead Space and does, yeah, Dead Space does have its things, but the personal favorite, do you have a Wii? Uh, I did at one time. All right, there was this one game, anymore. you gotta look it up, it's called Jew on the Grudge House Simulator. Oh, it's a, it's, okay. Oh, it's so okay. freaking scary. See, I, I've seen the grudge. Yes, so imagine that in video game form with the Wii remote, and you don't oh, have geez. any weapons. Oh, yeah. Just a flashlight. That's crazy. All right, let's. I'm gonna go back on the Kingdom Hearts. Um, okay. if you had any type of character with you, who would it be and why? Except for Sora. Okay, so is this battle scenario or is this just like somebody I want to hang out? with? Someone you want to hang out with, like. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Well, from from the Kingdom Hearts realm, um, I think as a personal friend, I think Axel would be an awesome friend. Axel, that's um, pretty good. Yeah, I like. I think he's just an interesting character. Um, but, jeez, there's uh, this is a tough. How do you pick from the kid? There's so many awesome ones. Um, Axel would be an awesome best friend. Uh, nominee, of course. I would love to date her. <laughs> <laughs> as we found out in the stream. Yep, let's just say that right now. She's uh, she's the most interesting, adorable person on there. Um, but let's see. Oh man, that's a tough question. Let's uh, let's throw it back at you for a second. Who would you? Oh damn it! I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Shit. I know it's an interview on me, but still, we'll reverse. It for um, a give me some more time to think. Oh, uh, it's not Leon, by the way. <laughs> it's not Squall. That's oh right. Yeah. That's not Squall. Everyone calls me Leon Squall in his uh, in his streams. So let me think. Have you heard of IMVU though? IMVU? Yeah, it's like a chat thing where with avatars. I was Riku oh. on that chat. Oh, nice. So I had ev- You're such an awesome character. So, but personally, yes, RJ. Personally. Guy, he knows my name, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so personally, I would love to hang out with. Shit, who is that? That one guy. Who's that one guy? Oh, that one guy. That one guy. Oh, that, let's see. The one guy who did that one thing. Um, Tara, Ericus, Master Zaynard, Ansem, <laughs> Axel, <laughs> Jackson, Son of a bitch. Um, so to keep, you want me to keep going? I'm not that again. <laughs> Jeez. Wait. Cloud <gasps> Sephiroth. Damn it, it was just... Cloud! There oh. he is. Cloud. Dude, a Final Fantasy legend right there. Yeah. I'd rather hang out with Cloud than... A, he's like my favorite Final Fantasy character aside from Titus, who was in the, yeah. who was in the first game, everybody. Hmm, I didn't even know that. He was the kid with the red stick. Oh, okay. In first on Destiny Island. So, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Sorry, now, I thought you meant like the first Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, the first uh, Final Fantasy game. And I was like, whoa, I've never played the first Final he, Fantasy game. He was in 10. Titus. Right, right. Now right. I'm throwing it back at you. Okay, bring it on. All right. Out of all Kingdom Hearts, who would you want to hang out with? Whew. Man. Um, so this is including Sora now. Yeah, you can include I Sora. Feel, I don't really mind now. I feel like Sora would be so cool. Okay. Hang on. I think my ultimate... Ah, uh, man. I just want to hang out with Sora, Kyrie, and uh, Riku. Just those three. Okay. <laughs> just in their group. Oh, scratch uh, that, by the way. It's Orin, by the way. It's Orin? Orin from Final Fantasy X, who was in the Underworld and Kingdom Hearts 2. That's my favorite. Oh, okay. okay. He's my favorite sidekick. Gotcha. Um, if I could hang out with anyone, I... You would pick Kairi, Sora, and Riku. Yeah, if I could hang out with a gang, definitely them, because they're like the original. But yeah. if I had to pick one character in particular, if I was going to be friends with, I think Ventus would be it. Ventus. He's, he's Isn't he the one he's... that looks like Roxas? Yeah, he looks exactly like, like Roxas. I think that's the point. That that was supposed to be Roxas before Organization 13. Like, that's my gut feeling. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. 
That did you play Dream Drop Distance? By the way, that's another I question. Did. Yes. Uh was it? Was it? Did it include Tron Legacy? You know what? I honestly can't remember. I want to say no off the top of my head. Okay. But I can't honestly remember. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're not finished with this interview yet. We're still. Oh yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Um. So you started out because of Kung Fu Fruit Cup. Correct. Um, you like Kingdom Hearts a lot. Yep. Now, my very first interview was with a walkthrough, so you're technically a walkthrough, correct? I guess by definition, sure. I'd, I'd like to think myself as just kind of a let's play okay. atmosphere. I always yeah. ask, um, okay, this is Resident Evil scenario, okay? Okay. If you were on an S, if I was Leon, like the escort mission, would you trust right. me? Like, if I was escorting you out of Spain. <laughs> so much trust. I just want to see if, what you would say. Definitely. I would just, I would run around behind you and go, wait, no one. Oh, God, not the voice again. <laughs> he does this, guys, he does this every time I come into the stream. Yep. It's like, it's it's your summon call. I just I say that. Don't know. There you are. I thought you would say, uh... Shout Leon and Helena Harper's voice. <laughs> and, uh, alright, so let's get back to Kingdom Hearts also. So, you're doing Birth by Sleep, right? Yes, I'm currently in, uh, let's play in, uh, I'm going through Terra first, and then Ventus, and then Aqua. Alright, so now Sleep. we know the order of what you're gonna do. Yes, exactly. What are you gonna do after, uh, Birth by Sleep? Oh, man, because I don't have a 3DS capture card, so I can't go on a Dream Drop distance. Ooh. Um, What's I, the other game that's on there? Um, on oh, on two point five. Yeah, on two point five. It has Kingdom Hearts two, which I played right before the stream, uh, Birth by Sleep, and then it has all of the cinematics. From, ah, okay. Um, Did you ever think about doing a Final Fantasy walkthrough? I thought perhaps. Yeah, I think the next thing I have on the list to do is um, uh, the Minish Cap. The Zelda, the Minish Cap. Oh, the, the Minish Zelda. See, I haven't been a Zelda fan. I used to oh, play. Okay, I was very when I was very little. I played it a lot. Yeah. Until one day, I broke my Game Boy Advance. So heartache. Now that hurts. I'm going back to Resident Evil. So okay. you played most of the Resident Evil games, right? Uh, I played four and five. Okay, out of those two, which one's your favorite? This is a tough question. Okay, I can actually sum it up for you. <laughs> Big annoyance or ammo waster? Yeah, for real though. That's so true. <laughs> Which um, one? Okay, this will be a personal answer for okay. me. Because, okay. Um, I have a younger brother who I love to play co-op games with. Okay. Like it's just it's our gig. It's our shindig. Okay. And uh, we were able to play through Resident Evil Five together. With co-op, and so the ammo wasting wasn't a big deal. Oh, when we played together. The void and that was monster, such a godsend. So I, personally, I have to pick five. Five, okay. I think if it was not for the aspect of co-op, I would have picked four, hands down, easily. Yeah, but you've seen I have my four time walk to play with my brother. It's it, it definitely goes for five. Yeah, you you've been on some of my four walkthrough, and uh -huh. I can tell you that you're having fun with that. Oh yeah, I love four, dude. Four is. Like I said, I would pick if if it weren't for that co-op aspect. As soon as Ashley killed herself. <laughs> I, I, I know, Failfish. I know, it sucked. But, alright, what else can I ask you? There's a lot of things. Do you like Marvel? Do I like Marvel? Yeah, comics. Yeah. Alright. I wouldn't say that I'm a huge fan, but yeah. What? Do you have a favorite hero in particular? Uh, that's getting too far. Oh. Um, No. <laughs> it's okay. At least you've heard of Marvel. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, I just yeah, I get them mixed up a lot with a lot of other groups. So, back to the whole like Twitch thing. What do you use for recording? Um, you talking about audio capture card? I mean, there's a lot of different. I use like seven different things, honestly. All right, we got time. Let's hear it. Yeah. So I have, um, let's see, a nice USB mic that is um, real, it's like studio quality, um, but it's an MXL, okay. and it's a 990 USB, uh, so MXL 990 for the audio, and I've got it on a spider mount, and a pop filter in front of it just for fun, it's on a boom stand, so it looks real, real studio-like. 
Um, and then I have all of my consoles. I'm a console gamer. Wow. Um, and I run all my consoles through. And I think I just heard your PS3. I did. I left it on after stream, so I just popped it off real quick. 